few little updates today. Uh, a good Friday in, in many ways. Um, I guess there hasn't been really anything big, meaty, yes, let's book you in for that. But <laughs> um, a couple of things have come up. So first of all, momentum is gathering momentum. Pretty sure I use that, uh, so I'm just gonna wipe the camera here. Um, pretty sure I use that every year we do momentum. Momentum is building momentum. But we've uh, been planning out, planning out the bullet points for our content and we're getting the sales page written and we're planning to launch that in just over a week's time. So October the 1st. Um, I'm a little, I've got to be, I'm a little cautious with the whole thing because I'm obviously trying to promote my event as well, um, which is a local event, maximum 30 people, but then I also want to put on this big event, Momentum in Athlone in Ireland for 400 people. And it's a very different kind of day, kind of very different kind of event, but I've just got to make sure that I'm not confusing my messages as I put it out to my audience. So anyway, that's happening and that's picking up pace, that's good. Um, I got my plan, my proposal off to the school for running this workshop for them, and I'll chase that up next week. So that was another piece of tick, do that. Um, and I spent a little bit of time planning out, oh yeah, no, I was gonna say, did I plan out my workshop? No, I didn't, but I did plan out my momentum talk. So I'm all set with that. It's a lot of kind of positive psychology based stuff that I've been learning and using over the last few months. So that's all good. But then this happened. So, uh, a few years ago, probably about, I guess it must have been about nine, ten years ago, I did some lecturing over in India, Jalanda, up in the north. And I went over there two or three times, I think it was over there three times, to run two courses and run one set of assessments. And I loved it. I had been to India before, did some trekking in the Himalayas a few years prior to that. But this was my first time actually working over there. And it was, I just fell in love with the country, and especially that area in the northwest. Um, and I also felt I'd love to go back. So anyway, I've got a friend over there who ran the gyms where we were operating out of and I was doing my, my lecturing. And basically we were teaching his gym instructors the, uh, the, uh, the kind of um, internationally recognized framework for personal training and gym instructing qualifications. So that's what we were doing over there, me and a, and a team of other presenters. Um, I've kept in touch with them, but I haven't really been in touch for a while. So I dropped my line and said, hey, Sanjay, what are your, what, what's your kind of rumors or things you've heard, rumblings about um, workplace well-being, resilience, performance, and, um, and physical mental health? And he said, well, I don't really know, but I'll, I'll ask around um, to see what I can find out. Anyway, he came back to me today and said, guess what? The Prime Minister of India has just launched, within the last month, a um, sort of Fit India national initiative. And this is huge over there. They've got all the top Bollywood stars promoting it and it's uh, all over the sort of the Indian media. Um, and they're clearly a fair way behind the UK in terms of what they're doing. But from what I've seen with some of the companies operating in India, it's not going to take long to catch up. So I'm rather keen to <laughs> <laughs> to get in there, and so is Sanjay. He's kind of uh, said, like, send me what, what, what do we need, what do we need to do, tell me a bit more about what you're doing, what I'm offering. Um, so I'm gonna get him all that stuff over and say, look, this is, this is what I suggest, this is what we need to do. And he's got all of the contacts. He's best buds with Shilpa Shetty, the Bollywood actress. Um, and he's, uh, he's gonna see how many doors he can open. And then I just love the idea of kind of going over to Jalanda and um, he, he's going out to Mumbai in the next couple of days. And um, he's gonna to speak to some of his contacts over there as well. So yeah, just a tour of India. A tour of India, delivering workplace wellbeing, physical, mental health, resilience programs, performance programs. Jeez, I'd love that. <laughs> um, so I'm not getting too far ahead. Of, well, I am getting too far ahead of myself. I'm, I'm very excited about the opportunities and the prospects there. Um, but uh, Tucky, get out of the flower bed. Come out of there. But we'll we'll see how we'll see how things turn turn out there. Um, it would be awesome. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, though, places like the Emirates, Dubai, um, the Middle East are really big into this. Uh, I've got a few friends who regularly go out there and present and give keynotes at conferences. So I know that's not India, but it's it's not like I I wouldn't be anticipating the Indian market to be significantly um, t 
tighter in terms of budgets compared with the other rest of the international market. And that's kind of a concern. Oh yeah, that sounds fantastic. You charge how much? <laughs> that's always my anticipated next question. Um, so I, I'm not counting any chickens. I'm not putting anything um, in any kind of real stock in this, but I'm gonna see what we can come up with. And as always, I'll keep you posted. So anyway, there we go. That's my check-in for the day. I'll be back again with more tomorrow. But for now, give it a YouTube thumbs up, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And check back in again tomorrow for another daily update. Bye for now.